Hey everyone, welcome back to my last tutorial of logistic regression. So in this tutorial, I will finish the whole tutorial series while talking about best choice of learning rate. I mean, how to choose and how it impacts our model. So in order for gradient descent to work, we must choose the learning rate wisely. So the learning rate alpha determines how rapidly we update the parameters. If the learning rate is too large, we may overshoot the optional value. And similarly, if it is too small, we'll need too many iterations to converge to the best value. So that's why it's crucial to use a well-tuned learning rate. So we'll compare the learning curve of our model with several choices of learning rates. So I'll write a uh, a code or that we could uh, test several learning rates at once. So I'll define it learning rates will be equal to there will be a list. So there will be, for example, this kind of learning rate. Oh, I chose to be too small. Uh, here's a dot. Uh, next I'll choose 0 0.002, next I'll choose 0 0.003, and next choice 0 0.5 and 0 0.01. So we'll try five of these learning rates and we'll upload them to model dictionary. And here I'll write a loop for i in learning learning rates. I will do such a loop. So we'll need to see what we are doing. So at first we'll print something. So learning rate is, I'll write, that will be our i. Next I'll write models i. I'll took for, take it from a dictionary and I'll call my model function, this one. I'll just copy it here and what I'll use, I'll use number of iterations 3000s, okay, instead of learning right I'll, I'll use i and here will be false. So I'll leave my model to train and next for pretty print I'll just add some, some, something strange here. So this will be uh, just a separator of line. I'll uh, add something like this or maybe longer, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll uh, loop our model to do it five times, 3000 steps. Well, it will take for a while. So next I'll do is for i in learning rate, learning rates I choose. So now I'll choose a plot and here I'll use a numpy squeeze as before and here will be my models i models i so here is also models models or here is models i and here will be my costs list and another another will be labels will be equal to string models i and here will be learning rate learning rate models learning rate just like that we close this and here is plt dot i label and here will be my cost as i label and plt dot x label will be my iterations so this will be my iterations and here will be hundreds just like that sorry mistakes mistakes hundreds okay now should be fine and now I'll add a legend will be equal to plt legend 
and lock equal to upper upper center hold this should be in a quotes just like that and shadow maybe let's add a shadow here will be equal to true and frame will be equal to legend dot frame sorry I didn't add that frame and frame dot set face color face color will be equal to 0.19 and here plt dot show just like that I'll double check but I think everything should be fine here and lab not labels but label and here will be string models I learning rate everything is fine how about here everything is also fine yeah I think everything is fine and and yep yeah, I'll I'll just start building this and I'll stop the video but I'll come back when my training will finish it might take for example I don't know 20 minutes and we'll see what results I'll get so I'm starting to build it and stopping the video so we are back here and our training has just finished and you can see here is a plot of our five uh, different learning grades so as you can see there is training accuracy and test accuracy and what we received the, the best I think this this is our the best value because this is the best value because well as you can see here is the 0.01 curve and it the cost didn't decrease a lot then there's uh, another uh, 0.0005 curve and it's here in the middle so these two three are very very similar costs but uh, they're not that good as we would like to, they to be but main idea here was to compare what code we need to do or, or write to train that we could compare results in different learning rates so as you can see here we compared five different learning rates and we chose the best this would be this one 0.0002 or 3 and this is our results and what we should mention that different learning rates give different costs and different prediction results yes yes so if the learning rate is too large uh, the cost might oscillate up and down and using 0001 we still eventually end up in a quite reasonable results here what uh, another idea i should mention that a lower lower cost doesn't mean that a better model you have to check if there is a possibly overfitting it happens when the training accuracy is a lot higher than the test accuracy but there is no case for us in in our results and what i must mention that in deep learning it's usually recommended to choose the learning rate that better minimizes the cost function so it will be this learning rates three ending my tutorial series i should mention what we must remember first pre-processing the data set is one of the most important things so it's better to implement each function separately so it means initialize propagate optimize and only then build a final model so it means you should keep the code tidy and structured and third tuning the learning rate can make a big difference to the algorithm so we'll see more examples of this in future tutorials while we are will be doing uh, deep neural networks and so on but 
For now, that's it. So finally, we made the simplest logistic regression model with neural network mindset. And if you would like to test more with this code, you can play with the learning rate and number of iterations. You can try different initialization methods and compare the results. So this was the last tutorial series for logistic regression. Next, we'll start building a simple neural network. And then we'll go to deep neural network. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe my channel, like my videos and wait for future tutorials. Thank you. Goodbye and see you next time.